Hello, welcome to the Polyguy Engineer channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but I had a subject I really wanted to talk about tonight. And that subject has to do with how to run uh, unit tests, specifically on iOS only libraries uh, that have been created with the Swift Package Manager. Now, it's kind of a unique, uh, unique set of uh, conditions here, but one of the really nice things about the Swift Package Manager is that they give you all these tools right out of the box for being able to do things like be able to run your unit tests. So as an example here, I'll uh, take a look here at this uh, project I have here called Animal Years. And if we take a look at this, um, we can see that I've got a very simple uh, project here. If we want to open it up, I can say XED period. And this opens up my uh, Animal Years project and I have these uh, different uh, structs and classes and stuff that I can use in here. Uh, they're part of my uh, they're part of my project. But if I come back here to the the console, one of the things that's really nice about uh, the Swift Package Manager they have all these built-in tools. So if I want to run the unit tests that I've written, I can come up here and I can type in Swift test and it runs all of my tests. Here's the problem. Let's say you're using a dependency that's a iOS only library. So in this case, uh, I actually have one uh, that I'm using in here that's called the uh, Apollo uh, iOS library. So if I come back in here and we take a look at this, we can see here that I have this dependency here. I'm pulling in from the Apollo GraphQL Apollo iOS. And right now I have the dependency turned off, but I'm going to turn it back on. So I'm going to remove these comments here. And now if I come back into my terminal and I run Swift test again, boom, we get an error. All right, how do we fix that? Well, let me show you how to fix that. So I like to use a tool called Fastlane. Fastlane is a tool specifically built for being able to help you automate all kinds of tasks around publishing apps, doing screenshots, running your unit tests, doing uh, uh, all your CI CD tasks. So let's go ahead and see what it's entailed in getting something set up. It's actually quite easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here into my console. I'm in the root level of my project, and I'm going to type in Fastlane, and I'm going to say init. And what that's going to do is it's going to come over here, and it's going to give me a couple of options. One of the options it gives me here is to do screenshots, beta distribution, app store distribution. I'm just going to pick four for manual. And I'm just going to go through, it's going through, through the process of doing, creating all these different files for me automatically. I'm just going to say yes here, continue, continue. All right. So now if I come here and I look at my project, there's now a folder here called uh, uh, Fastlane. If you look right over here, there's Fastlane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to actually going to open up one of the files in there. It's actually two files. So let's look in that directory here real quick. We'll say... LS Fastlane. And we see there's an app file and there's a fast file. The fast file is where we're going to do all of our configuration. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my handy little uh, Vim editor here. And I'm coming here into fast file. And we can see that there's this file here. It's pretty simple. And if you actually look at this, you might recognize the language here. This is actually this tool is built into Ruby. So if you're already familiar with Ruby, that's great. If you're not, it's okay. We're going to show you how you can modify this very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change this custom lane and I'm going to change this to tests. And I'm going to move this line and I'm going to add a new line in here. I'm going to say puts hello world. All right. And this is just to check and make sure that this is working. Uh, insert. All right. So now if I come up here and I say fast lane and I'm going to say tests, we can see here that it actually went through and it ran and it printed out this hello world. So let's actually make this useful. Let me show you what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open this back up. Uh, and instead of just doing something simple like uh, outputting uh, a couple lines of text, what I want to do is I want to do the things I need to do in order to be able to run a unit test or run the unit test. So 
Uh, since uh, we're using iOS, there's kind of a dependency on being able to run against all the you know iOS uh, simulator type tools. And so uh, even though I can open up the project inside of Xcode, there is an Xcode project. So what I need to do is I need to be able to generate an Xcode project. And to do that, uh, I can actually use a, an SPM action inside of uh, Fastlane. So all these little commands and stuff that you use inside of Fastlane are called actions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in here SPM. And then under SPM, I'm going to give it a command. And that command is going to be generate Xcode proj. All right. And in parentheses, so that'll be my first action. My next action, I am going to tell it to run my test. Now that I have the Xcode project, I can actually run my test. So I'm going to use the run test command, and then inside of here, I'm going to specify the project that we just created. So the project we just created is, in my case, it's called Animal Years. So I'm going to say Animal Years dot Xcode Proj. Go down to the next line here, and I'm going to specify a device I want to use for testing. So uh, even though I don't have one yet, uh, I'm going to specify which device I want to run on. So I'm going to say the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And now that I've done that, I can go ahead and in this command. And then the last thing I want to do is since uh, I only need this project for being able to run uh, the project, or for being able to run the, the unit tests, I can get rid of the Xcode proj folder once it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to give it a shell command. And I'm just going to say rm for remove and dash rf for the ref. And I am going to go up one level because it's going to run this and the root level of the Fastlane folder instead of the, the actual project folder. And then we'll say animal years dot Xcode proj. And end that there. So now what I should be able to do is save this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Fastlane tests. And let's see what happens here. And we got an error. And that's because I did I passed an invalid number of parameters here. So let's fix that here real quick. Let's come back here into the fast file. And under my run tests. And where's that next? We call that devices. All right, and let's try running that again. And it's successfully built. And you can see here that it's using all the nice, uh, pretty formatting here as well. That's all built into the def default here. Fastlane. It's another reason to use Fastlane. You don't have to go and figure this stuff out. It's already built into the tool. And there it successfully ran all my unit tests, it passed. And it looks like it also removed that uh, Xcode proj uh, folder. Let's take a look here, and there it is. So I hope this uh, demonstrates that you can actually uh, uh, fix some of these problems that you may have with trying to automate certain things around your uh, Xcode processes using Fastlane. And if you like this video and see more videos like this, please you know, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel, and I can do more content like this. Have a good night.